Hey, what's going on? It's Brandon here with Live Pigeon, and I'm excited to do this video today because I wanted to share with you some of the history that we've had with Live Pigeon. We've been doing this now for four years, and what's been really fun is when I first set out to do this, I wanted, you know, you get to dream up what you want something to be, right? Like I didn't want there to be file size limits. I just wanted you to be able to take a video that you shot on your camera, upload it to us, and then schedule the time you want it to go live, and you're done. And we've done such a good job of making that possible. Uh, but the challenge is, as we've started to scale and as our customer base has grown drastically, what we've noticed is, yes, there wasn't a file size limitation. But with that, the challenge was we had a couple users who were actually trying to upload a 77 gig file and a 50 gig file. That's a big file. The challenge is, by using video files that are that large, it basically backed up our system. And then all the other customers that were trying to like upload their videos there, it also caused our servers to crash. So I hope that you weren't affected by that, but I wanted to let you know where we are in the process. We've actually put a file limitation in place on your uploads, mainly to protect everybody else. We're trying to evolve now in the sense of trying to serve so many customers that we had to put this in place. And it's actually not a negative thing because if you think about it, you should be able to go into a video editing software, put your video into that, edit it the way that you want it to, and then compress it. The reason that we need to compress things is you're not necessarily sacrificing much when you're compressing in that everything will still look good but yet you're still gonna be able to get your video files up to us. The other reason that we're putting this limitation in place, we've had a lot of customers who are in areas that do not have very good uh, internet connectivity or they don't have very good upload speeds. And so that will also affect the way in which you're trying to upload your video files. Recently, a pastor reached out to us who was trying to upload a video file to us. And the thing is, it was a very large video and he set his settings to the best because he wants the best quality. But the problem is best quality results in really big video file sizes. And so the thing is, there's actually limits that there are online. So for example, Facebook has its limits. You can only go live uh, 720p. Again, uh, YouTube is 1080. Again, there's some video settings um, that that are already being limited by the platforms that we're going live to. So it doesn't make sense to take a really big video file, the best quality, and send it over to these platforms because they can't even handle that quality. So they're even having to reduce it. So by us reducing the, the file size up front, your video files will actually still look good online and the platforms that you're delivering them to. So we as a team came together and we said, you know, what are our settings that we use? And we, th we decided, hey, why don't we just share those with you? These are what we use. These look amazing. This is what we've been doing, not only for our own work, but for our client work as well. And why not just share these in a guide that you can go through step by step and know exactly what to do so that your videos look amazing, but they're gonna be a smaller video so file size. And what else is nice about that is your upload speeds won't take as long for us to get your video files. So that's gonna be a win. The other thing is this is gonna help us as we continue to grow and scale that we're gonna be able to continue to serve more and more people. Because as a business owner, I want to make sure that there is no downtime. And if we can make sure that we have a solid, solid system, that's how we're going to be able to best serve you. So what we've done is we've created this guide and we've put it uh, down below. And so what I want you to do is go through it. And in there, we're going to have all the top video editing softwares that we use or that are popular in the market right now. The challenge is in making a guide like this, we don't cover every single video editing software out there. But if there is something that, that you're currently using that isn't in the guide, reach out to us. We're here to help you. We try to pride ourselves on our customer support and our service. And so if you have a comment or a question, again, send us an email, an email and we'll do our best to get back to you. And the other thing is we're probably going to be updating this guide as we go. And so we don't have all the answers right now in this guide. I already know that. But we've tried to go through and cover the top companies and the top video editing softwares that are out there and being in use. So the other cool thing is 
everything is almost the same in this guide as you would probably experience on the video editing software that you're currently using. And so the goal is just to make sure that the settings are, the, are similar or the same. And uh, yeah, that's what we've done. We've created this guide so that you can easily go through and make sure you know what settings to put your videos at. So they're gonna look amazing. Your file size will be smaller so that you can actually get your video files up to us quicker. And the best part is we can now serve even more customers by being able to do it this way. We're excited for you to get started. Go ahead and click that link down below. Uh, jump in and get your guide. The other thing too is depending on what video editing software you use, you can actually save these out as presets so that you don't have to go in and, and modify it each time. You just, every time you have a video, you just click that one setting. And uh, we're gonna have, other videos that we're going to put out as well, covering more in depth on these different video editing softwares. But again, we're just here to help serve you to the best that we can. And through this guide, that's what we've decided to do. And so what I want you to do now, click that link down below, go through the guide. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We're here to help you. And thank you so much for choosing Live Pigeon.